So, dudes, it's me, Sly Gumby, and I'm only really halfway here today. Respawn decided to release the Angel City's Most Wanted DLC a day early, and I stayed up way too late playing with all the new content. Why did they do this to me? Why? The content hasn't even been out for 24 hours, and a lot of you haven't even played it yet, so I want to share with you a trick about getting to play Angel City. If you didn't pre-order, briefly go over the store items and mainly run through the lengthy patch notes. I'm saving those for last because there's a lot of them and it may become pretty boring. <laughs> okay, so first off, the Angel City map is only available to people who pre-ordered, right? Wrong. They are allowing all people to play the map as long as the person who pre-ordered is the party leader. This is also another way for Respawn to promote the network system. For instance, if you don't have anyone online to play with that pre-ordered, you can always go searching for another network and potentially find new BFFs and besties to play with. Moving on to the newly added store. There were a few concerns I had while deciding to make a purchase and maybe you share the same concerns. Under the camo pack section, it shows 20 camos that apply to your pilot, pilot weapon, titan, and titan weapons. There was a price listed below for $2.99, and at first it seems like each camo is going for $2.99, but in fact it's all 20 camos for $2.99. This also applies to the call sign packs section. The entire set of banners and patches is bundled together for $1.99. Please note that these prices are US dollars. I'm not exactly sure what the costs are in other countries. One other thing to note before planning your purchases, the Prime Titans do in fact share all of the camos that you've already unlocked for that Titan. Example, if you have Ion at Gen 10, all of your camos you've unlocked on the way work for the Prime Ion. However, the Prime Titans do not allow the use of nose art. So if you have a hard on for, let's say, Scorch, and you purchase the Prime variant and then purchase the Scorch customization pack, which is basically all nose arts, you will not, I repeat, you will not be able to use the nose arts on the Prime Scorch. Just a heads up. All right, patch note time. In order to keep this short and sweet, I'll try to keep my ramblings and side commentary to a minimum. Quote unquote, try. First up, new free content. We are welcoming Angel City to Titanfall 2 with a 24 7 playlist. Meaning, if you just want to play Angel City all day and night, you can. Playlist will be a mix of Attrition, Bounty Hunt, and Amped Hardpoint. We will keep it up as long as it remains popular. Angel City will also be added to the map rotation in other playlists. New Titan Kits. Ronin is receiving Phase Reflex. When doomed, Ronin phases out of danger. North Star is receiving Threat Optics. Enemies are highlighted while zooming in. Scorch is receiving Scorched Earth. Flame Core ignites the ground, leaving Thermite in its wake. Legion is receiving a hidden compartment. Power Shot has two charges. Tone is really receiving Burst Loader. Aiming allows the 40mm to store up to three shots to burst fire. Meaning hold right trigger, release right trigger, right bumper, drops controller, walks away. Ion is receiving Refracted Lens. Splitter Rifle splits five ways. There's a new weapon called Wingman Elite Pistol. It's a modified version of the classic Wingman Pistol. There's a new pilot execution called Inner Pieces. You phase shift into an enemy and it doesn't go well for them. Moving on to the new paid content. Scorch and Ion Prime Titans. Stand out with fresh new looks and executions. Titan Art Packs. Customize your Titan with five new nose arts and an exclusive war paint skin. Each of the six multiplayer titans have their own art pack available. Call sign pack includes instant access to 20 new and exclusive call signs, banners, and 10 call sign patches. Camo pack includes 20 new and exclusive camos that can be applied to every titan, titan weapon, pilot, and pilot weapon. New features. Added an FOV slider to console. Increased FOV maximum to 110 on all platforms. PS4 streaming for networks. PS4 users who are streaming will have a new icon next to them. Other users can hit a button to view the stream. Better mod tools for networks. Mods can now mute people for the whole room and change the room voice mode to be mods only. You can now toggle between having a 2D or 3D style damage indicator in the HUD options. Added a new in-game store to purchase Prime Titans, Titan Art Packs, 
call sign packs, and camo packs. Please note all purchasable items are cosmetic only and do not affect the game balance. New setting to adjust aiming slash ADS sensitivity separate from hip fire sensitivity. A new set of advanced and optional gamepad settings for fine adjustment of turn speeds, dead zones, response curves, and more. Added support for EA access, origin access, and free multiplayer trials. FAQ added to multiplayer lobby. Your one-stop shop to learn the basics of Titanfall 2 multiplayer it includes in-game patch notes. Modified matchmaking status display to fit longer text needed for some languages. PC only. Removed insane texture quality and replaced with max. No reduction to visual quality for those with enough VRAM, but will reduce hitches when streaming in textures. Display call signs for the top three players per match during post-match scoreboard. Increased likelihood of finding Nessie Easter Egg in Redacted Mission that no one has found yet, or did we? Multiplayer stats menu added to view player stats history. Please note that stats have been tracked since day one. Balance changes. Killing auto titans will now count towards killing sprees and contribute towards camo unlocks. Fixed bounty titan scoring in bounty hunt. Grapple will now detach after melee hit, even if person melee lives. Ronin's phase dash and phase reflex now removes tone's lock on markers. Attrition and bounty hunt. Reduced the amount of core meter earned by killing AI. Adjustments to North Star's flight core. Over core now starts your Titan core meter at 30%. Adjusted Viper thrusters so that in addition to moving faster during flight core, and North Star now moves faster during hover as well. Adjusted Scorch's tempered plating damage reduction and fixed issue with protecting against firewall. Adjusted weighting on map rotations. Adjusted visibility of cloak. Firing your weapon will now also disable cloak. Additional balancing to tone. Titan kills properly award weapon assist stats to assisting players. Tweaked parameters to reduce immediate reuse of spawn zones but allow reusing them later in a match. Connected a couple of spawn zone pairs in crash site. Reduced chances of getting spawn camped. Spawn zones are more fair in Bounty Hunt, equalizes distance to AI camps. Bounty Hunt changes. When an AI kills a player, that AI now receives half of that player's bonus. Sender bonus pop-up now shows bonus gained rather than total bonus. Rebalanced point distribution among waves so that second wave has a larger impact on this game overall. Boss Titans are now worth 500 points, was 600. Reapers are now worth 100 points, was 50. Stalkers are now worth 30 points, was 25. Score bar now shows team's total unbanked bonus as a yellow portion of the score bar. Modes that do not have titans, such as pilot vs. pilots and Coliseum, no longer display the team titan status bar below their score bars. Weapons. Flatline increased far and very far pilot damage. Volt reduced pilot damage. R97. Increased pilot damage. Spitfire. Increased pilot damage. L-Star. Increased pilot damage. Double take. Increased damage. EPG. Slight increase to splash damage. Increased titan damage. Thunderbolt. Increased pilot and titan direct hit damage. Bug fixes. Disabled the ability to earn double XP during private matches. PC only. Fixed issue with Windows 10 users who were stuck with connecting to respawn servers. Fixed issue where assists were being counted as kills for weapons. Weapons will now also properly receive assist stats when assisting in killing titans. Fixed issue with bad spawns for last titan standing on exoplanet. Fixed bug where game completion achievements were not being rewarded when playing the missions out of order. Fixed bug where folks were crashing after grappling evac ship just before it's destroyed, swing away. Fixed issue on blood and rust where players were getting stuck in a death loop. Fixed bug where players would appear to be stuck in ground during executions. Fixed issues with collision for hard points and banks as well as mantling when jumping on staircases. 
Fixed issue of not being able to tap and shoot softball with auto sprint. Fixed issue of Kraber shooting through bubble shields. Fixed incorrect pilot character sometimes showing in lobby on first game launch. Fixed HUD ammo counter occasionally showing an incorrect amount when using the devotion. Fixed grapple not detaching if it was unsuccessfully trying to pull you downwards. Fixed skin and camo arms not matching player camo when rodeoing. Various localization issues fixed. Fixed gen factions not receiving advocate gifts. Retroactively send any missed advocate gifts to affected users. So I went from 50 advocate gifts to 190 after the launch of the DLC. Fixed new indicator incorrectly staying on for the banner and patch menus. PC only. Various D3D bug and crash fixes. Fixed melee hit detection to be more reliable. Fixed issue with Titans not displaying loadout information properly. Fixed bug where players could suicide with a cooked grenade and kill opponent without taking damage in Coliseum. Fixed the grappling hook floating in the air if the grappled player dies. This also fixes some weird forward lunging after grapple melees. Fixed grapple failing to detach from some objects the cord touched while you were grappling. And that ends the patch notes. If you have any questions, concerns, rants, unwanted opinions, please leave them in the comments below. Also, if you haven't already, give this vid a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe for more Titanfall videos, you silly gooses. As always, I stream daily on Twitch around 8 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, so swing by, say hi, hang out, jump into some games, make fun of my skill level, or whatever. Links will be in the description. One last reminder, get all your non-believer buds together for a free multiplayer trial weekend, and let's help grow the community, boys and girls. On that note, I'm out. I'll catch you in the next vid. P.S. Jay Fresh from Respawn was in the gameplay clip dying at the hands of the great Gumby. <laughs>